Hey guys and welcome back. You're in the kitchen cooking with Quilla. I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas because I certainly have. Today I'll be making some shrimp and grits. Here are the ingredients that I'll be using. I'll be using some Tony Sachery's blackened seasoning, some Quaker grits, water, black pepper, kosher salt. I have some shallots there as well as some Kerrygold garlic and herb butter some badia minced garlic, lemon and basil. I'll also be using some imitation crab meat, jumbo scallops, thick cut bacon, and also some black tiger shrimp. You guys, let's get into it. All right guys, the first thing I'll be doing is getting started on my grits. I'll be cooking my grits in this black skillet here. That way you guys can see everything that I'm doing with it. Let's pour her in there just like so. We're going to use all of that. All right. Once we get our grits down in there, you guys, we're going to go in with some water. Okay, go in with what your heart desires. Or you can go by the measurements that's on the back. Okay. All right, after we go in with the water, you guys, I am going to go in with some kosher salt, just like so. All right, as well as some chicken bouillon that I have in this jar. Let's get her down in there just like that. You guys be careful using this along with the salt because it can get quite salty. Okay, we're gonna give this a quick stir. And I have butter to put in my grits, you guys, but I'm not putting it in at this time, okay? I will put it in once my grits start to cook a little bit more. I'm gonna add some more water to that as well. I think we need a little bit more water because I do not want really heavy grits. I want that baby to be nice and creamy. Let's go in there just like so. Oh yes, that'll do right now. The only thing we have to do is start the cooking process right now. All right, so while that's on a medium high heat, we're gonna turn our attention to our seafood. All right guys, so the first thing we are gonna do when it comes to our seafood and the bacon, I'm gonna go ahead and put that bacon in this frying pan. And this is the uh, black label thick cut bacon. and it is three slices, okay? So, we're gonna get this burner here, heat it up to where we like it, okay? We're gonna bump that up to medium high heat. We're gonna cook this bacon until it's nice and brown, until it renders all that fat. Then we're gonna go in with our seafood, okay? But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get those things seasoned up. Now, in the intro, I told you guys these were jumbo scallops. And that's what the label said. But you guys, I only found one jumbo scallop in there, okay? And that's that one. So we're gonna get those out there like so. Get them seasoned up. Y'all hear that bacon searing? We are gonna cook the crap out of these scallops. Not overcook them because we don't want rubberized scallops, okay? I got one that's trying to be fronty because it tore up. Look at that. That one tore in half for me. But we're going to still use his butt. Alright, let's go ahead and wipe my fingertips off. I'm going to go in with the Tony Sachery's Blackened Seasoning. Go in on them just like this. Matter of fact, let's go and cut it heavy on the board. Whatever I want off the board, I'll take the scallop and rub that around. Okay. Let's 
get it just like that. You can take that scallop and rub it into that seasoning. Make sure you get the bottom and the top of your scallop seasoned very well. Nobody want to be eating a lump of rubber, okay? So, let me get that over there looking like that. And put some more seasoning right here on our little cutting board. my tails on my shrimp when I'm making shrimp and grits. So let's get those seasoned up as well. You guys, this is a brand new bottle, so you know that seasoning is kind of stiff up there at the top. Alright. Get that mixed up in there just like so. You guys, let's also hit that thing with some sazon. Because sazon is going to give it that beautiful golden brown color. So we'll get that sazon just like that. Yep. My goodness. Y'all, look at that. Ooh, I got me a piece of shell. And you guys, don't forget, don't throw your shells away. They make a beautiful broth to uh, make in another dish. You guys, sometimes I use a seafood broth inside of my grits, or I'll use chicken broth. Don't throw away your shells. Now, look at how beautiful those types of shrimps look. Man, you got yourself something. I'm not going to season this, uh, the crab, but we are going to wait for our bacon to finish rid of that fat and cook down. And we'll be back to put our seafood in. It is now time to take our bacon out. And you guys don't judge my plate. But I have a section plate because I want to put everything in its own section when it's done cooking. Okay? So we are going to take this bacon out there just like so. Put it on this plate here. And the next thing we're going to go down with is the shrimp. Okay? Go down in there just like so. Let's turn that heat down just a little. Now, let's throw it in with black tiger shrimp just like so. And you don't want to overcook your shrimp. You want these to get a nice little crust on the back side of them on each side. Yes. I'm loving the way this is looking, baby. Once you get those babies in there, remember which one you put in first, okay? Because that's the one that's going to cook quickest, okay? Look at that. Ooh. I can't wait. Look at this right here. Oh my goodness. I get excited in the kitchen, you guys. So don't judge me, baby. Get with me. Flip them babies over just like this. Flip them over, baby. Oh my God, y'all, look at that. 
Y'all can't tell me that I know you're going to be good in the right there. Oh, yes. Remember not to overcook these babies because you want all that yummy meat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got my little Christmas section plate ready to get them out as soon as they're done. After we get those uh, shrimp out of the pot, we are going to go in with our scallops. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So we had to switch burners, but we're going to go in with our scallops just like so. Y'all don't keep flipping the scallops either, man. You just want to cook it to where you can get that crust on each side. But still not overcook it at the same time, okay? These ones are corn. Child, I don't know what the devil wants to become of those. But I'm sure they're going to be something. Alright guys, for your disposable cutting board and the garlic can. Whoever came up with that concept was genius, okay? And you guys, this one right here is just right. Look at that. That there is looking real good. You guys can't see really with the tongs that I have, but that one is cooked the way I like it, okay? All right, guys, let's go right in there and saute our crab meat up just like so. Let's get all of that in there. And you guys make sure you have on a oven mitt or using a uh, pot holder to mess with your cast iron pan, okay? Because, baby, when I tell you this thing get hot, you best believe it. We're just going to saute this a little bit because you know this is already fully cooked. Just going to push them around in this pan. Just a little bit. Just to get all that flavor that was in the pan all over them. That's all we're doing. That's it. Look at that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I can't wait to eat it, baby. I cannot wait. Okay. So as quick as we put it in there, you guys, we are taking that mug right back out. All we want to do is just get it warmed up just a little. But y'all wait until we throw and you know what? Let's throw that back in now. Because we can. Okay. Y'all know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to throw all this mud back in there too. The bacon as well. Oh, yes. Let's get this stirred around just like that, y'all. Get that bacon in there. Those scallops. Mm -hmm. Look, it's about to go down. We're about to go in there with that shallot that I've cut. And y'all, we're about to go in there with a spoonful of this mixed garlic, lemon, and basil. Let's go in there with that much. Yep. y'all butter makes everything better boom we're gonna melt that butter in there just like so and then we're gonna turn this on a low heat you guys if this is too much butter for you don't put it in there might be some too much butter for some of y'all but guess what butter is making everything better in this pan and so is this black pepper 
Okay. And not only is that black pepper doing what it needs to do, I am gonna go in with some of my Holland House white cooking wine. You only need a little bit. You only need a little bit. Let's go in there very gently. Stirring that baby around. Looks a mess to you guys, but it looks good to me. Guess what we're about to do? We're about to go ahead and let this simmer for about five to 10 minutes, and we're gonna come back and plate this baby. All right, you guys, it is time to plate this baby up. First thing we are gonna go down with is some of this creamy grits. It's going there just like so. I like a lot of grits. So I'll be going down in there just like so, okay? Now, after we get that in there, let's get that up. We're gonna boil with our seafood and such. Okay. Let's grab a good spoon here. Look at that. Got me some scallop. I got some shrimp. I mean, not shrimp. Scallop and um, crab. Got me one of those big black tiger shrimps in there, baby. I'm gonna fix her up, baby. We're gonna fix her all the way up, okay? Let's get some more of that crab and that bacon. Let's go around her just like this. Scallop or two. Right up in there. Girl, we're just going to put it all over the place. That's what I think we should do. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. Okay? So, the next thing we are going to do is sprinkle that baby up with some parsley. All right, you guys, let me clean up my plate so that I can give you guys the final look. Here we are with the final look. I'm about to get a spoon so I can tell you guys, or a fork, so I can tell you guys how this thing tastes. I've been waiting on this all day long. You guys, if you want to add some cheese to this baby, oh, girl, cheese make everything better just like butter mm. y'all if you like what i've done please like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell to know what i'm back in the kitchen because right now i'm about to go in until next time i'll see you soon bye